Do you think we can reverse aging? I'm really excited to learn that aging is reversible. Have you heard of anti-aging celebrity David A. Sinclair? In September 2019, he published a book called Lifespan. First of all, I would like to emphasize the author's background. Otherwise some people might think that he did not write a professional book, but a science fiction novel. The author is a professor at Harvard University and co-director of the Paul F. Glenn Center for the Biology of Aging. He was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine in 2014, and has published articles in top academic journals. So now you know that he's not a novelist. In this book, he offers a startling theory. Aging is a disease that can be cured, and we may be surprised to hear that because we are so convinced of the natural law, some mammals can live up to 200 years old. Although human life expectancy is increasing, the oldest people live between 100 and 120 years old at present. And in the last 10 to 20 years of life, a lot of people go through illnesses, taking pills every day, going through the pain of surgery. And that kind of old age where you can't support yourself is miserable. Aging has never been regarded as a disease because we all go through it. But the author believes that aging is the main cause of some major diseases. Cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease are all symptoms of aging. Just like the symptoms of a cold are runny nose, fever, cough and so on. So why does a man age? The author points out that human body has two main kinds of information, DNA is one of them, it is digital information. It is surprising that DNA or genome information can last more than 80 years, which is also a recent major discovery. For example, large amounts of ultraviolet or radiation can damage DNA or genes. So please pay attention not to exposing to ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The author's team did a similar experiment on mice and found that simply destroying chromosomes could speed up their aging. Therefore, he recommends avoiding microwave technology as well as unnecessary x-rays or CT scans as much as possible. The second one is analog information, known as the epigenome, which allows some genes to be read and some genes to be silenced, yet this information is hard to keep. The author believes that this is the main cause of aging. Aging is a loss of information, a loss of the ability for cells to read the right genetic information at the right time. So can DNA damage be repaired? The answer is yes. We get energy from food and use that energy to repair our bodies and preserve information. If that repair fails, DNA damage and epigenome chaos can get worse, leading to aging and organ decay. We have longevity factor, a protein that repairs DNA damage and maintains epigenome regulation of cellular activities, protecting us from diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's and even cancer. The research team found that by helping mice activate the sirtuins, they not only had better memory and exercise tolerance, but also remained slim regardless of what they ate. These sirtuins are like rescue teams in the body, rushing to help where things go wrong. These factors can be activated by a certain amount of stress, but only at a reasonable level that does not damage DNA. Just like the emergency muster and training of the military, it is necessary to deliberately create problems from time to time to keep the sirtuins active. This method can not only delay aging, but also achieve a certain degree of rejuvenation effect. So what exactly can we do, and what's the secret to getting younger? It all boils down to eating less and moving more. Because the researchers found that the sirtuins are activated by intermittent fasting. In addition, high-intensity exercise can also wake up the sirtuins and improve immunity. First, let's talk about diet. I believe that most families have three meals a day, but the book advocates reducing not only the number of meals, but also the size of each meal. Be careful not to become malnourished. In order to lose weight, some women choose to diet without restraint, which is not desirable. The author recommends eating one or two meals a day at most. 
he himself does not eat breakfast, and may eat a small amount of yogurt when he is particularly hungry. Sometimes he doesn't have anything until late afternoon, and then he has dinner only. In his book, he emphasizes the health benefits of fasting. There are different kinds of fasting, for example, 8-hour fasting, 16-hour fasting, 24-hour fasting and so on. But when you're really hungry, you can have a cup of coffee, green tea or a bowl of broth. In addition, due to incorrect eating habits, there are more and more obese people and the number of people with high blood sugar, hyperglycemia and hyperlipidemia are still increasing. The book talks about minimizing your intake of animal protein, which means less meat, eggs and milk. I used to think animal protein was better for human body than plant protein, but the book says animal protein has too much energy. In particular, you should not eat processed meat, such as sausage, ham, bacon and so on, because these foods contain various additives, which can damage human genes. For those of you who suffer from mild hunger on a regular basis, don't feel miserable, your body is actually getting younger. Secondly, keep exercising. Of course, exercise like marathons can be very effective. But I personally find that the easiest way is 10-15 minute jogging or fast walking every day to reduce the risk of some diseases. Also, the exposure to higher or lower temperatures can be beneficial to the body. Such changes in temperature also energize sirtuins. The third point to mention is drugs and supplements. According to the author, it did work in mice. The author and his family started to take this kind of supplement early, but he is an expert and can make adjustments according to his own condition. While many of us don't have expertise in this area, and each individual's physique is different, so choose carefully. You can do more research or consult a professional before you make a decision. One of the drugs is metformin. Metformin is one of the most effective drugs with few side effects for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Since metformin is a prescription drug, it is difficult to buy in developed countries. But in countries like Thailand and parts of Southeast Asia it is easy to get. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, a disease caused by decreased insulin sensitivity, the book says that diabetes is a disease most likely to accelerate aging. While there are solutions, including keeping appropriate weight, maintaining a certain amount of exercise and weight training to keep your blood sugar levels stable. My husband was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in June this year, and the doctor prescribed this drug. He has taken the drug regularly and combined it with diet and exercise. During this period, he lost 10 kilograms. We also started fasting, basically having two meals a day, and keeping the amount of vegetables up to 500 grams and a 24-hour fasting program once a week. We also bought a home treadmill so he could walk fast for about 20 minutes every day. Last month, we found that he had symptoms of hypoglycemia after taking the medicine, so he stopped taking the medicine, which may be because we are in fasting. Now fasting blood glucose and urine sugar are back to normal and stable. Okay, let's quickly reveal the next one, Enamen, which is a kind of supplement. The author personally thinks it works, and he has it himself. He is in his 50s and has the body of a 30s. One of my friends in Japan said that the Japanese version of this book was a hit last year. She bought this supplement on Amazon Japan this year and started taking it. She also bought some for her parents. By now she has not seen any apparent changes. It is just like an investment for future. I think you can get it very easily too. It is also important not to smoke and try to avoid secondhand smoking. The ingredients of cigarettes are just like a compound which can damage genes. I personally don't want to try any supplement at the moment because I'm preparing for pregnancy. But I keep it fasting and exercise several times a week. You can also make your own exercise and diet plans. What's exciting to me is that we seem to be entering a new phase. 
changing our understanding of aging and death. Where longer, healthier, happier lives may not be just a dream anymore. Well, that's all for my today's video. If you like my video, don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your support. See you next time. Bye.